What's good, y'all? It's your man, Mike. Today, I'm here with a posterior leg day that you can use, all athletes can use to get stronger, faster, more explosive. Um, all the workouts today are done in the gym with weight. Uh, here's the workout that I had it on my notes. It's here up on the screen. Feel free to pause the video and look over that. But we started with a dynamic warm up. Right now, we're just opening up our hips. And um, I think right after this, we move on to the adductor machine to work on our inner groin. So I re lately, I've been starting my workouts with just some um, adductor uh, warm up and uh, hip warm ups just to get blood flow going. I think it usually helps with my change of direction and just overall power, loosening up that area for most lower body exercises, your power is really coming out of your hips. And with most majority of athletic movements is coming out of your hips. So that's, um, that's why we focus on that. Now we're here doing some hamstring curls, just getting some blood flow to the lower limbs, the posterior side. Uh, I got some RDLs in there later and uh, some glute bridges. So I really wanted to just warm up the, the, the backside here with some light weight. I'm not, everything's light and control, nothing too heavy. It's just really about getting blood flow right now and just nice dynamic warm up. Nice and controlled. Here's our first set of glute bridges. Um, I was really excited about the glute bridges today because I, I typically don't have these in my program. I think that they're a great workout and it, it's probably one of the best workouts you can do for your glutes, building overall power in the backside. Um, I, I usually just avoid them because the setup is really annoying, like getting a barbell, getting somewhere to uh, a stable place to put your back on, like a stable platform, changing the weights every time. It, it is annoying. I'm not gonna lie, right now it's like later on it's, uh, uh, nighttime when I'm recording this audio, and like my back is still kind of hurting a bit from this. I think maybe I, I could have done a little bit more of an intense dynamic warm up in the beginning, and um, you'll see we we, we kind of get a little heavy today, which was uh, it was expected, but I don't know my ego kind of went up there today a bit. Um, so now we're on 275. You see, we warmed up 135, 225. Now we're at 275. So right here is where it kind of got heavy, but it was also controllable. It wasn't, you know, nothing out of our control, out of our reach. Um, going down slow and just squeezing our glutes at the top. But here's our first set at 315. I've never ever done weight this heavy on glute bridges. Like I rarely do glute bridges, so this was a first for me. But this was um, controllable, but it was definitely noticeably heavy for me. And then right here, when we put the 375 on the bar, man, this guy was heavy. Uh, I think I do three, four reps here. And the only reason I had to stop was because I kind of got like a little hamstring crap, cramp in the back of my knee. And um, you see, I had to lower the weight back to 315. And I got um, a lot of rugby going ahead this week. And then I head back to school for my season. So I just want to chill out there. Uh, but yeah, we did about four sets. Four or five set, five sets, I believe, with the glute bridges, and we, we went pretty heavy. But um, just make sure you warm up nice before those. They're a great workout that you can do for all athletes, no matter what sport you play. Um, really, really helpful. But here now we're on to the RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. Another great workout that I think all athletes should have in their program. Um, really, to just build the posterior side, man. Uh, even everything out. A lot of guys do so much quad work, so much. Uh, they're very quad dominant, but then they have no hamstrings and that's how they end up getting hamstring pulls or tears, ACL tears, meniscus tears. It's just from muscle imbalances along with like not being hydrated and you know taking care of their bodies. But man, um, you really want to work on that backside. Uh, I didn't really go too heavy in this with the RDLs. I, I don't know. It's just after those uh, glute bridges, I don't know, man, my back was really getting to me. So changing the weights were a lot for me here. I, I only do like four or five reps with 185, but no, it's calm stuff. But now we're over into the athletic portion, which I'm sure a lot of you guys were um, looking forward to, where we do some hang cleans. Um, right here, I'm just warming up, focusing on getting triple extension. You see, I'm coming up on my toes. Now I'm lifting it. Uh, I'll probably hit a high pull and then, you know, some hangs, but very lightweight. I'm not the best at all with form with um, these power movements, man. Um, I'm just not like the crossfit movements. I'm not really the best at them uh, with the hang clean snatches, all that stuff. But I'm really working into it. I'm trying to get better at it. Okay. 
we got 135 on the bar and this is kind of what I, I typically work with i'm really trying to build my way up from here i think the biggest thing i struggle with is getting my elbows through and my my wrist back like as you can see uh, i really struggle with just pushing my hips my elbows through and i do a bit towards the end added a 10 on here but man form 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 i get it up for the first one and then i think the second one uh yeah I don't get the bar up enough and I'm also not even dropping my hips. I feel like I should, when I shoot my hips forward and I get power to get the bar up, I should really be dropping underneath it so I can catch it nicely, but I don't tend to do that. I usually just muscle it up and that's something that I gotta work on. So right here, like I see I'm standing on that rep. It, it's really not good. I'm standing on all these reps. So I gotta work on my form for sure, but you know, we don't go too heavy here. Ego goes back up. I say, why can't I hit the 155? Why not? You know, 135 is going up easy, so I say F it, throw that John up, and you know, it's not bad. I think the main issue with me is I'm doing this basically standing. Like, I need to get under that bar to make this lift easier, um, and maybe keep the bar a bit tighter, so that could help me, but, you know, uh, my back was really getting to me, man, from them, um, them glute bridges. Just moving the weight was so much, you know, when you got three, four plates on, it's just a lot changing. Um, a lot of bending over so uh, I'm pretty happy with how the workout was going so far man like those are the the couple big movements for me the glute bridges uh, hang cleans and the uh, art Romanian deadlifts those are all you know strong compound movements that help you with sport so now I'm doing some isolation work here with the hamstring going much heavier than I was before like earlier we were just warming up but now we're actually putting on some serious weights on the bar uh, on the machine, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, everything's still slow and controlled, explosive when, we, uh, when we're contracting the weight. But um, I'm, I'm really feeling in the hamstring. Today, I just, uh, I like, woke up, I'm like looking in the mirror, and I'm like, man, I gotta get these, my hamstrings up, man. My quads are pretty much there, but uh, not the hammy. So that's what I did. Uh, just focus a lot on a posterior leg day. I think all athletes can do this. Like right here, we're hitting some, um, you know, some quad work still, but uh, it's relatively lightweight, man. Just trying to get some blood flow going, um, getting some extra work in. But um, I think after this, we hit some calf raises, and that's pretty much it for the workout, man. Everything is short and sweet, but very effective. We go high volume on all of these exercises. It's just trying to um, increase in weight now. You know, I felt like in a lot of my workouts, I was pretty steady throughout the last couple months. Like, I, I would. I, I work out pretty often. Um, recently, it's been more like every every day, every other day. But before, I'd be going like two, three times a week, and I'd just be sticking with the same weight, the same amount of reps and sets. But now I'm really trying to challenge myself. I think you'll even see that in the calf raises here. Right now, we start out pretty light in weight, and then we work all the way up to the 190s, which uh, I was pretty impressed with myself. Like just the thing, like you know, obviously I'm I'm close to 200. I'm like one, I'm 190 myself, so. Um, calf raising an additional 190 pounds on top of myself you know it's dope it's just it makes me feel confident about what what more could I do on the field you know all the strength that I have if I if I teach my my mind and my body to apply the force properly the strength and power that I have to use it on the field in the right ways man I'll be unstoppable but um, yeah right now we're just trying to build up the calves man I think this I've always had smaller calves I think if you know I build these up with my fast switch muscles and maybe I'll be a bit more explosive on the field Give me that extra quick step, more power in the contact. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we spent a lot of time. Like, this was our, our finisher uh, for our workout. Is just the calf raises. We did about four, five sets. Five sets, I believe. I don't know if they're all on camera, but yeah, man, five sets. A lot of volume. Uh, I, I don't know if this is one. This is like probably like 170, 150, somewhere around there, but just um, controlled and exploding. One of the tips that one of my uh, my trainer, my shout out to my guy Rico, he put me on. We were doing cow phrases before. Uh, I didn't do that in this workout, but you know we usually go up Damn, and then up again. So you know when you squeeze, you're up on your ankles and you squeeze your calves. You then squeeze again. You know to get just that extra bit of contraction. You're really I don't know, putting all effort, 100% maximum effort into this lift. But uh, I think. Um, I really, I'm really fond of this machine. It's so easy, like it's such an easy setup. You literally just stand up, stand up. So uh, I love it, I'm a fan. I love it tremendously. Shout out to this blink. Somewhere uptown New York, uh, 
probably one of the only ones I've seen with it. But um, yeah, guys, this is basically the it for the workout. If you guys enjoy this content, please like, comment, subscribe. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button so you can see all my videos to come for future notice. I'm going to keep dropping bangers, tutorials, and just motivational videos. Um, yeah, guys, comment what you like, uh, what you liked about this video. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.